Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Dear learners, hope you are doing well. This video is about Environmental Management Certificate under the platform of Sakib Nadeem Institute of Occupational Health and Safety. Today, we are going to discuss some general information about NIBOSH Environmental Management Certificate. That what is its importance, how one can do that and how can you attempt this course. So first, first of all, what is EMC? EMC is the abbreviation of Environmental Management System and this course is publicly known as NIBOSH EMC. Basically, it is a course that designs for those looking to embark on a career in environmental management or have environmental responsibilities for their organization, which means that it is a beneficial course for all type of learners, whether they are new to this field or they are already pursuing a career in this field. It covers the fundamentals of ISO 14001 Environmental Management System, including aspects and impacts, environmental life cycles, and environmental risk registers. The next question which most of the learners ask is that what is the level of this course in their qualification? So Nibosh EMC certificates are a level 3 qualification on the NQF which is known as National Qualifications Framework and a level 6 on the Scottish Credit and Qualifications Framework. Now let's talk about the benefits this course provides to you. So EMC justifies environmental management in their workplace and it helps you to recognize which workplace activity may be subject to environmental legislation or enforcement. It helps you to assess environmental aspects and impacts and evaluate existing controls in your workplace. It also supports you to create environmental emergency planning understanding the importance of reducing environmental harm. It outlines the issues associated with the waste and its management. And it also explains the pros and cons of various energy sources and how to use them more efficiently. Another question about this course is that how much time this course will take to complete. So what is the length of EMC? For this qualification, you should plan your study around 34 credit hours, 25 hours private study and 8 hours on assessment, according to Nibosh. So for the overall time this course will take, it take almost one month for you to study this course and then take part in assessment. Now for those who wants to do this course, they must meet some entry requirements. A student must have intermediate education or 12th standard study and they have suitable standard of English language understanding so they can understand this course betterly. The third requirement is that they must have some kind of environmental background or have a basic understanding of environmental concepts and environmental management. However, there is no location strictness. As it is an online course, you can do this anytime and from anywhere according to your suitability and internet connection. The next, now please have a look on EMC assessment format. It has two parts, EMC1 and EMC2. EMC1 is a kind of exam. On the day of exam, you have to download your question paper, you have to complete it and then submit it in 24 hours time. You can take a little help from internet to solve your exam but there is a plagiarism limit. Learners will be required to review a real life scenario and answer theoretical and practical questions on environmental management. Whereas EMC2 is kind of a report which assess environmental aspects and associated impacts. It is a kind of practical assessment and learners will be required to assess environmental aspects and impacts in their chosen workplace. So you have to choose a workplace and then you will complete a practical assessment reports in EMC2. 
Next, you might be wondering that on which dates I can give my test. Therefore, I am giving you the dates for this examination in this year and the year after that for your convenience. The next examination date is 2 November 2022. This is some general information about EMC. Now we are going to discuss the general look of EMC1 which means EMC examination so you can get an idea. In this video I am going to discuss a general look of EMC examination which was held in August 2022. So this is the beginning or first page of your question paper where Nibosh gives you some general guidelines to attempt your paper. As Nibosh states that this is an open book examination, it is not invaginated or you are free to use any learning source you want. But you have to limit your plagiarism limit. All of the above information is a general information that how can you attempt your paper and how can you submit your paper in Nibosh website. Moving forward to the next page, here's what scenario starts. This is from where your questions are extracted, so you have to read it carefully, so you can write your answers more carefully. So please analyze the whole situation of scenario carefully. In this exam, the scenario is about gardening and landscaping organization and how this organization is facing some serious kind of environmental management issues and what kind of control measures you can provide them to avoid this kind of mall functionality. The scenario is usually 1.5 or 2 pages lengthy. After the scenario on the next page here is the question parts that you have to attempt. I am going to read first question here for your assistance. The first question is that you are about to start the assessment of the organization's environmental aspects and associated impacts. Part A is based on the scenario only. What environmental aspects are likely to be identified in your assessment? As I said to you earlier that you have to carefully read the scenario so you can attempt these questions. You can't write it generally. Your question must be according to the scenario. You have to analyze whole situation critically and then write your answers. As sometimes some points are seems to be negative but they have some positive impacts on environment such as strictness of rules. and also, sometimes the, some of the points are seems to be positive, but they have some kind of negative impact on the environment. So you have to analyze the whole part of this question very carefully. The second part of this question is explain the potential negative environmental impacts from the organization activities. So now both of these questions are somehow similar. One question is discussing positive impacts and second question is discussing negative impacts. But the word which you have to read carefully is that in first part these are environmental aspects, aspects and in the B part these are the environmental impacts. And both aspects and impacts are different from each other. So this is all about the question. Moving. Now we will have a general look on EMC2 which is a report kind of examination. It is a part 2 of Nibosh EMC certificate. So this is the first part of your report. It is a report about an organization which you can choose by your own choice. Write its location and the number of workers working there and then some description that what kind of area is this and what is its diameter and how many rooms or halls it has and other information you want to be highlight. After that, you will have to specifically write that what areas are going to be included in your assess risk assessment report. Or you can write any other relevant information which you want to mention that this is going to be important in discussing environmental aspects and impacts in your report. 
moving forward to the next in this section you have to write all the internal external internet or local resources that you used to get information about your organization you have to write all the resources who you speak to and how existing controls were identified from your organization the second part of this report is identifying environmental aspect associated impacts and existing controls there are total seven parts that you have to fill first of all what is the activity product or service you are going to use in this assessment report what is its aspects and what is its operating conditions then you have to write its associated impacts and ex existing controls that are already in the organization what is its significance rating and criteria you can write all the aspects that are concerning you whether they are about pollution or degradation of trees or use of plastics or waste generations and many more moving forward to the next section which is section 3 In this section you have to choose a single aspect and then its key issues and recommended additional measures. You have to write all the environmental receptors, business concerns, relevant compliance obligations, needs and expectations of interested parties linked to key environmental issues and the likelihood and the severity of your identified impacts. after that you have to write control measures to control this aspect you have to recommended additional measures there including outcomes what is the time scale for this implementation and what are the resources you are going to require to complete these control measures in order to reduce your impact you have to write all these kind of data in this part on a single aspect and impact The next part is the last part of this report which is communication and review. You have to write time scale for your review whether it going to take 6 months or 1 year for you to review your additional measures or environmental aspect and impacts of this organization. Secondly, you have to write who should review these recommendations and how will you communicate to them whether they are hr managers or area managers or plant managers and then you have to write follow up procedures this is all about the report of emc which is abbreviated as emc 2 so what are you waiting for get yourself register with us as we can offer you registration zoom trainings emc course lectures emc exam discussions live discussion sessions with trainers if you have any question or ambiguity emc assessment discussions demo exams report reviews and also exam hints we offer you that three of our trainers come live for training according to our given schedule cost price will be very less than any other institute you can do this course with classes in just 100k which is very less than any other institute in pakistan so get your self register with us and avail this opportunity for you to begin a career in environmental management For further information about registration or you have any question about EMC you can contact on this number which is visible to your screens Saqib Nadeem Institute of Occupational Health and Safety and the number is here +923204173823 Thank you so much this is all about the general information about EMC If you have any question regarding anything you can comment it please like our video and share this video to your colleagues and to your students thank you so much allah hafiz